Hello and welcome back to the Sonic CD playthrough. We're joined now by special guest Entom64 on Collision Chaos. Commander Nofon strikes again. Aw oh, shit, get out! <laughs> See, Metal Sonic is saving Amy from Entom. <laughs> Why aren't we following suit? <laughs> Quick, chase after the Fon, there it goes. <laughs> Oh god, Tom, it seems just like four short years ago we were in your living room recording this game. Why are you so boring? Exactly, why is this game so boring? Was that really four years ago? Holy shit. It was, it was, it was after SOS 09, because that's when Steven was there. So yeah, that was, it's coming up to four years. Oh my god, it seems like yesterday. That's fucking scary, we've been doing, oh, that makes me, that makes me feel so old. Don't say we, no idea. you've been doing this for five years. <laughs> Don't drag me into your sick fantasies. Exactly. No, I was like, what is with Scarlet, seeing as you're the expert on this game? Like, so, in, in, in most of the classic series, the animals, the badniks are powered by flickies and animals. It makes sense, because Robotnik can kind of get their, their heat energy and, like, you know, their, their, their life force to power the robots. In this game, they're powered by flowers. Now, I, I don't really get how you can power a machine with flowers. How do you do it, Steve? How do you do it, Scarlet? I don't know. Uh, I think I have a, I think I have an answer to that. When he changed history, uh, he just basically replaced the flowers with robots. I think that's why when you that's why when you destroy them, they reappear. Oh, uh, okay. So magic. Yeah, magic yeah. basically. Now I be honest with you, I I don't mind collision. I mean, I don't get what's going up in uh, up in the sky there. Like S Steven, you're 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 um. How can I put this politely? You are under the influence of something while we're recording this. Does does it make does it make looking at the visuals of this game? Does it just make it better? Oh yeah, it makes it it makes it look like I'm watching Adventure Time right now. Because <laughs> I would have. <laughs> That's amazing. I wish we were watching Adventure Time. Like sections like that, like that with all like the um the bouncy ball things. I, I to me that this doesn't. Look, it's not fun level design, it's a fucking tedious chore to play. Well, it is called Colors and Chaos, so uh, yeah. We did, and we made that exact same joke four years ago. Did we? We? Fuck. we did. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, and there I was going to go get the robot generator. Robot generator. I always do this shit. Why? But. We do. No. Not no. here, motherfucker! <laughs> 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 But I just said, fuck it. I'll just do a time stone run instead. And I'm so glad because we get to watch all these amazingly fun special stages and not. <laughs> this game was so mysterious to me as a child because I only had the PC version. I had to play with a keyboard, never completed it. And then I played it on Gems Collection years later and uh, I was kind of underwhelmed. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think most people who aren't idiots have the same, have the same reaction. I heard, I heard it was amazing! I played it, it was shit. <laughs> <laughs> three, three out of four people in this chat had that experience. Fuck you, Skyler. You're in the minority. Maybe Skyler's the one who's going around spreading the rumor that this game is good. He's the <laughs> one. He's the one who we all heard the game was good from. <laughs> Sky, Skyler's the one person in the world who likes this game. He just makes multiple accounts on different <laughs> fan forums. He found hey, an actual hey. time zone, went back in time, and planted the good reviews. It's all his fault. <laughs> Hey, hey, I never played this game until Gems Collection, and that was the shitty version, alright? I won't be surprised if you were the original founder of Sonic Retro. <laughs> <laughs> well, once I, once I find a past signpost, then, you know. So, so Sky, um, how, how different then is, because, let's see, in terms of versions, there's the, there's the original Mega CD version, there's the PC version, the Gems version, and now this version. What are the differences between the four of them? Well, I will say one of the biggest differences is the time it takes for you to switch from time zones. Because I think in the original, it was five seconds. And then on the PC and Gems Collection, it was like three seconds. And here, I think they... I don't know if they went back to five or just did something a little bit shorter than that. So that's one of the first things I noticed. What, four? Because <laughs> I, I, I remember reading... I, I forget if it was the director or the designer, but they wanted... The um the the transition from time traveling to be instantaneous, just like in Number Back to the Future, but they were like they couldn't program it correctly. I remember somebody saying they wished they had they wished Yuji Naka worked on this game because he, he would have been able to make it. And then after that, Yuji Naka was like, um, "No, your game sucks. Get out of my face." <laughs> I I do, I do think that was Oshima who said uh, he wished he had Naka do that stuff. 
Yes, I, th I think most people wish that Yuji Naka had worked on this game. Maybe then the game would be playable. Oh. Well, whatever you think about Yuji Naka being very influential on the Sonic franchise, remember that he likes the inclusion of Elise in 06. Yeah but, yeah, but Yuji Naka left during the creation of that. He was clearly like, you know what, fuck this game. See, 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 the, the people, the people like some call me Johnny, who like, before 06 of a Shadow the Hedgehog, Yuji Naka stayed for a Shadow the Hedgehog, left during 06, that's to tell you everything. Oh, good job there, Skylar. Green Block is now playing Fez. That'll be good to know in two years' time when people watch this video. Okay, I left one in. <laughs> okay, big deal. Well, he was feeling nostalgic for our uh, co-op playthrough of Episode 2, where I did the same thing in Part 1. I didn't notice it. I was pulling an all-nighter at that point. I... That whole experience is a blur to me. Now, um, we haven't we haven't spoken about it yet, but obviously we are listening to the Japanese soundtrack, which I think, with the exception of Tom, I think I think the rest of us prefer this this version. Art oh, house <laughs> bullshit is what it is. <laughs> Which, you know, I, I think, with the level world now, I, th I much prefer the American version of Collision Chaos. Oh yeah, definitely. But, but like, look at all these springs, God, how is this fun? How is this fun? You're colliding! It's chaotic! It's Put two and two bullshit. together, motherfucker! <laughs> it's not fucking fun, it's crap! Better name, Pinball Panic Zone. Here you go, have some what good future, alright? <laughs> no, 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 this is not a good future, this is a bad future. <laughs> just call it Steven's about to have a heart attack zone. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, you sound upset. Oh god. One thing I will say though, in terms of the um the gravity, I like the fact that when Sonic j jumps on a spring now, he can, his body kind of like spins around. What like things always here? This little spiral thing with the platforms? Yeah. Yeah. It's just no, not well, activated in blown. the past. <laughs> <laughs> He's I not never always knew, here. <laughs> <laughs> Taxman was like, fuck it, I'm gonna improve this game, man, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Which, if only he would have. Yeah, I did I did want to give you some of the good future of this zone, because I didn't get the robot generator in zone one. So, for the boss, we'll be seeing the bad future. It, what a goy little jerk. You uh, showed off the good future, but with the wrong good future mu music. Well, excuse me, Mr. Tom64. Okay. You're excused. Now re-record this and do a no-hit run. <laughs> so, what is that in the back? Is that, is, that, is that like the floating you island? You made that comment four years ago too. <laughs> I did. See, good. Let's just, you know what, guys? Let's just, let's just redub. Let's just take the commentary me and Tom did four years ago, and I'll just splice in Skyro and, and Steven being like, "Yeah, oh, that sounds good." Yeah. Ah. I agree. You want some? You want some sound bites? Here you go. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's uh, your perfect run, run, the run Tom. Fuck you. I was actually listening back to some of our playthroughs the other day, like little clips and whatnot, and we sound so different. We, yeah, it's true, yeah, we do. Back then, I had the will to live. Now, not so much. <laughs> Skylar, Skylar what, you're where really are you going? good at this. I'm going to get to the other one. Because with these special stages, if you miss your jump, don't bother trying to set it, about, set it back up. Just go to it's the like next these one. These special stages suck. God damn you, Mode 7 gra- No, it wasn't Mode 7, that was exclusive to Nintendo. This is just ripping off Mode 7 graphics. Good job, Sega. It's actually better than Mode 7 in retrospect. Well, well the, the Sega CD was capable of better stuff than the SNES, so yeah, but most people just re remember it from like 0, 07 and like Toes in Time and shit. One thing I like that they changed in this screen Extra Lives used to say extend players or some stupid bullshit like that. I love. I I love Japanese like English like that. Extend player. Extend players. I'll show you an extend player, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, again, Skylar, please tell me why this boss is good. I never said it's good. All right. You said you like the bosses in this game. I like it's some of the bosses idiot. in this game. Which one? They all suck. This boss, it can either take me 30 seconds or 30 minutes to beat. So I don't like. This I boss. know. Hey, you went back and you wrote all those reviews, okay? The onus is on you to apologize for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why, I, that's why I gave the one with the US soundtrack, like, 30 less. Fuck you, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> and there I got the fucking egg capsule. <laughs> 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 I 
knew that was something I forgot to do. Did Eggman build all of that and was like, I hope he doesn't make it all the way up there? <laughs> the, an the answer is yes, goodbye. Well, uh... <laughs> Thanks Go for joining us, Tom. <laughs>